What's up guys, it's your boy, J to the A to the double N E, and uh, in today's video I will be going through the H pattern integration for Richard Burns Rally and how to make it work properly and uh, without any delay, and uh, how to make it force uh, the use of clutch as well, and uh, without further ado, let's uh, hop on to Richard Burns Rally and begin. Uh, the first question that you guys might have in mind is that why don't you Yana, just use the NGP5 uh, age pattern integration? And uh, yeah, I mean, we can try. We can go to options and map the gears, go to controls, and we can see that we need to map each gear separately as, a, as its own button. So we do it here now. And uh, yeah, neutral doesn't get any response despite we wiggle our stick, not the meat stick, but you know, this shifter one. So uh, yeah, no doing anything for that. And then we map first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And uh, yeah, now we have the edge pattern mapped and let's head out onto the stage to test it out. And here we are at the start of the stage with the NGP5 edge pattern iteration Column. equipped. Columns. And uh, let's see, Aya. off the line we go. Okay, and we see Nothing. that Oh shit, we're shifting slowly, but we are actually fast on the shifts, but the game itself is making them slow. And uh, yeah, that's not that enjoyable to drive an H pattern car where there's a mandatory delay in the upshifts, especially if you're driving a rear-wheel drive car and you're trying to hold a slide and upshift that's just pretty much doomed, more or less. As uh, during a slide with a rear wheel drive car, you would need a constant rotation from the rear wheels, but that doesn't happen if the car goes to neutral for like half a second between shifts. So uh, yeah, despite the fact that we are shifting fast as hell, at least in my opinion, some of you elitists might disagree. Uh, yeah, the game puts there an automatic delay and that's that's kind of sad actually but uh there's a way to prevent that or to go around that and i'll show you how just right now we go to the we take the keyboard we go to the options to the controller setup and uh as the neutral that was empty before we map for example this button here to it so now it doesn't go through neutral because we don't press the button here. It only goes to neutral when we press the button here. And uh, now we can see how well it works as uh, the upshifts are significantly faster compared to uh, compared to before. But, and now you might be asking, Jan, why aren't you using this iteration? Well, two things really. Uh, first being that you can't force the game to require clutch usage so you can just do that and uh, just fiddling the stick around just like you're learning to masturbate but haven't quite figured it out yet and uh, it's just fun and ecstatic and everything goes as easy as possible but uh, that's not realistic I mean yeah some cars do have a dog box uh, uh, gearboxes and whatnot, so you don't need clutches on upshift and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I don't like it that you don't need to use clutch. It makes it way too easy, and uh, especially on the older cars with H pattern gearbox, it makes it really, really e easy, too easy, unrealistic even. And uh, as I want to have as realistic experience as possible, uh, I'm not really happy with that. And uh, that's also another problem. When you go into sequential mode, when, well, yeah, we have it now in the paddles. We're driving along happily, and uh, then we crash. Oh no! Oh no! Whoopsie daisy! We have crashed, and uh, no matter how hard I yank this left lever, the downshift lever, it doesn't go to neutral until I press here, which is the neutral button. So uh, every time I want to go to neutral, or even more so 
to reverse I have to go through neutral through this button and uh, well yeah first it's really slow to go downshift 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 here downshift and then reverse and another thing is that if you are trying you are you have spun on something you need to reverse so you need to be quick going from whatever forward gear to reverse and uh, the wheel is rotating it takes you quite a bit to find the neutral so uh, it is not optimum at all so it, it kind of sucks that you have to sacrifice your uh, sequential gearbox mode for proper H pattern integration or the other way around so uh, yeah luckily there's a better solution for it and that's what I'll be showing you guys today so you can enjoy both H pattern and sequential more or less simultaneously in the game and uh, yeah I'll show you guys how all right now we are here we have Google the obvious choice here RBR H shifter and uh, the first thing that comes up is over here the RBR H shifter 3.0 by Rally Pirata and uh, you go over here you can see there are the instructions but don't worry I'll show it to you guys like on screen as well how to how to equip it and configure it but uh, what you need to do first is to download the plugin and uh, it shows up here and uh, then you need to extract it we go to oh sorry there are quite a few things here where do we have it where do we have it we have it uh, ah fuck there we go here and we go to extract to rbr shift 3.0 and uh, now we are here go to shifter and uh, we copy it or we cut it and then we go to our Richard Burns Rally uh, root folder, the base folder, and then we head to plugins, and uh, we ins we just copy it here. And uh, well, I have it already, so I won't be doing. But you just copy it here, and then you go on to the game itself. All right, then now we are back in the game after extracting the shifted DLL into the plugins folder, but. If you do have the old control still here from the NGP5 iteration, we need to get rid of those. So we delete them all and then go back and go to plugins. And uh, there we have the RBR Edge Shifter plugin visible right here. We click to it to be enabled and then we put it to auto neutral, which means that whenever it's not in any gear, it is in neutral. And uh, here we have the require clutch thing as well. And uh, as we set it to true, it now requires a clutch to be uh, used for upshifts and downshifts. Uh, but there is a bit of a teeny tiny shit thing here, as uh, the clutch needs to be pressed 90% or more, which in my opinion is way too much. But you can go around it by uh, calibrating your clutch pedal so that for example I have it so that you need a 60% input on the clutch so it activates the whole clutch or it, clutch or it shows you know like a full 100% input and then we just go through and uh, map all these map all these gears and uh, it's easy as balls and then we press save changes and uh, we are done now we head to drive on uh, any car and test it if it works <laughs> spoiler alert it does and now we are here at the start of the stage with the rally pirata edge shifter plugin uh, installed and uh, now we need to use clutch in order to shift and you can see no delay whatsoever and it works just uh, perfectly and uh, as you can see can't shift without clutch so uh, that is beautiful in my opinion it forces you to do it properly or you will be punished so that is definitely amazing and uh, the neat thing about this is that you can still have your sequential uh, shifter working side by side with it as well Unlike with the 
with the H pattern uh, on NTP fire well here, you can have it kind of working simultaneously there as well. But uh, here we can go after this junction, for example, we can just uh, decide that we have had enough of H pattern. We go to pause and uh, we put it back to the sequential mode, only back backwards, forwards on the. That's all we need to do. And now we can use it normally here. And uh, all it takes is to shift the shift more. And especially on Fanatec, it doesn't take long. It takes a bit longer on uh, Thrustmaster Shifter, but uh, it doesn't take like uh, mind numbingly long there either. So it's still, in my opinion, way easier than uh, fiddling with the controls, mapping a neutral to a key or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that is the Rally Pirata H Shifter plugin which I'm using, and uh, it works perfectly for me, no complaints whatsoever. And uh, also, a good thing to remember when using it, you might want to put a neutral lock and uh, clutch operation or auto clutch or whatever it is called, both of those to be off from. Uh, from the gears option in uh, on the game's own options menu but uh, that will be all for now i hope you guys now can figure out your own h pattern plugin and uh, hope that you guys can be seen also rocking the h pattern plugin with clutch as well uh yeah that will be all for now thank you guys ever so much for watching i'll link the h pattern plugin before before i'll link the h pattern plugin below in the description so you can download it from there if you don't know how to use google and uh yeah that will be all for now i'll see you guys later on today with a ladder a tooling ladder rally after party rally i will be running it through twice with both ladders with my both accounts just for shits and giggles really and uh, yeah that will be all for now thank you guys ever so much for watching i'll see you guys later on today have an awesome day have an awesome shifts Bye. <laughs> Spoiler alert.